Yeah, that should be yeah. picking up everything now. There you go. Peace, world. Salute, salute. I got some special guests in the building. What's I'm good, and right. I, I need you to introduce yourselves. What's happening, I'm family? I'm D Brimstone. I'm Duffel Bag Dollars. I'm YB Hood. Salute. Say your name again, homie. D Brimzor. That's what it is. Now, what's the brand you're repping? Renegade Revolver. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. How you come up with that name, man? Well, we were just drafting out ideas, and my boy was like, yo, we need to something that sound like a Renegade. And I was like, yo, Renegade Revolver. And it clicked mm -hmm. from there, and we just built upon that brand. No doubt. Salute, salute. Got a nice ring to it. I like the merch. You appreciate know, appreciate it. I like the music. Um, We're going to get right into it, man. Y'all buzzing right now. You know, um, I know y'all been doing your thing, but when when people hit that MREC TV, it's something different. I don't know if y'all know, like, from the industry <laughs> definitely, to the streets. Definitely, definitely. <laughs> like, definitely. To the industry, to the streets, it's, it's just different. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's, it's a different kind of vibe frequency when you're on an MREC TV and um when I dropped the freestyle the, the trauma freestyle you know um on my platform a lot of feedback came through right away positive feedback you know people was really checking for it you know what I'm saying what was the um mindset in terms of you know recording that freestyle dollars I mean Truthfully, it started out when I heard the trauma. When I heard the trauma from me, that that song kind of touched me. So I'm like, you know what? That beat hold a message, some type of message with it. So it was just basically, I wanted to give him some raw, man, some from the streets, man, some some from where we come from, and something to understand too as well. It was messages in it. There's messages in them lyrics too. You just got to pick them up. I mean, you pick the jewels up and run with it. How you run with it? So. I just wanted to drop that freestyle just to get him some raw, man. Get the streets some raw, man. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And it's you and Young God on that, right? Absolutely. That's me and Young God. That's the brother, man. That's the young kid. Salute to him. Salute to him. Absolutely. Y'all got busy on that. You know, I felt that and the people felt that. I appreciate you know? it. And we appreciate it, man. We working hard. Yeah. No doubt. No doubt. Definitely. Hold on. One second. I got to close this window. Niggas got motorcycles and all that. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, you know, get nice people start nice acting outside, up. Man. Yeah, you know, niggas can't wait. You know how it go. I'm going to edit that. I'm going to edit that part. So, Don't worry about <laughs> it. It's all good. All good. Yeah. Oh. Um, now, I got to ask you this question. You know, hip-hop being competitive and, and being that joint, that, that trauma joint is a Meek Mill joint. Who you feel, you know, and this ain't being biased to yourself because, you know, you still got to put it on a, a scale. Right. Y'all felt like y'all got the best of Meek on that track or you, you feel like it's even or talk to me, man. Uh, 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 I'm, I'm really like, 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 I really can't, I really can't say. I just know, I just, we ain't make, we ain't make, we ain't make people forget who beat it was, but mm. we just make them recognize what it is. Understand? You 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 go harder than somebody when when it, when somebody forget the beat like who who beat was that again? <laughs> <laughs> now, man, that's when you go harder than somebody. I just really want that was a message. That was a message for him. Why we didn't want to do that to me? Okay, okay. we want to do that to me. Uh, <laughs> now Shall I mean, go. Look, look, look. I could tell it's a mutual respect because I know Meek. I gave Meek one of his first shots nationally. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. It was documented uh, on the COD DVD. Oh, so um. Right. The reason why I'm saying that is, is because the joint was dope. Let's, you know, we're gonna salute me. You know, what I mean, his trauma joint is dope. That's the reason why you're able to freestyle off the beat because he put out his joint and 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 obviously you felt the record for y'all to just say, yo, you know what? Now nah, we're gonna ride on this beat. You dig what I'm saying? Right. And, then, and then dollars, you gotta understand, this is my first time. I'm building with you, but for me going off the video and how you was spitting it, I could tell you was like, I'm ready for the smoke with anybody. Like, that's the <laughs> I, 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 yeah, need that dollar. I need that dollar. 
I know yeah, 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 that's the bar. That's the bar. No, that's the bar. I know right now that's the bar. Like it's a different, it's a different, it's it's a difference though. Cause let me, I, like I said, I jump on this track, I'm gonna show love, but I have got tracks that it don't matter who jump on it, it's over. Yeah, I got, I got stuff for me, so it don't matter what. I mean, just for that though, I'm gonna pick a love of me beat and then I'm gonna send that to you, and then I'm I'm, I'm gonna show you what I mean. I'm gonna show you the difference. <laughs> we gonna Not do it because... like that. I'm going off the facial expressions and all that. Like, I'm like, oh, this nigga want to smoke. Like, you was on one. It, it, whether it was the video or the studio session, you definitely right. was like, yo, look, I want to smoke with these rap niggas. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo, yeah, M rap, man. I got the bag on my little brother any <laughs> day, man. That's, that's all I'm going to say. That's what I'm going to say. We smoke hookah, we smoke. Regular weed still, we smoke gas, <laughs> it really don't even matter. Some smoke black cigarettes, we still with the smoke. Don't get me wrong, ever. Don't get that wrong, ever. Sure. I just wanted, I just wanted to be clear about your, your question. You know what I mean? Yeah, no doubt, no doubt. Now y'all got a mixtape called Brim Game, Brim Game. Right, yeah. right. Um, how long ago y'all dropped that? We, I'm gonna keep it a hundred with you. We dropped that New Year's Day, soon the ball drop. Okay, y'all dropped it at the top of the year. It's all good. Mm. They're independent, so y'all can always promote music. You know what I'm saying? It ain't it ain't never old because there's billions of people in the world that ain't that didn't get to hear it. Never That's why y'all doing your promo mm -hmm. campaign right now with MREC and, right. and okay. everybody else. Yeah. Now, how many joints on that all uh, mixtape? Seven. Seven. seven? Oh, oh, oh y'all kept it light. So what? That's yeah. seven, seven freestyles. No, seven songs. Seven uh, seven songs. Well, six songs. The seventh one is the freestyle. Okay, so that was a bonus, pretty much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. which is the trap. Got you, got you. Um, I can hear that spray for himself, you know. Right. Yeah. Um, now, what kind of, how can I say, what kind of lane, you know, you're trying to ride in, or what kind of lane that you're riding in? I'm going to keep it 100 with you, m -Rack. The lane that we're going in, we can't even put us in the lane because everybody's multiple talented. You just see us three, but we got affiliates with us that that's also really coming up behind dollars. That's ready to eat. That's ready to eat. You feel me? So the lane that we in is like it's a different lane. We got multiple artists. We got multiple people we deal with. We so got artists, we got, got singers, dancers, <laughs> cameramen. <laughs> we still figuring out how we go. We trying to come in the game like that. We trying to <laughs> come in the game. Oh. As you should. As you should. Right. They right. can't. They can't yeah, put you in the box. Them, we can't yeah, even put them in a. We can't even put it in a in a box or even in a lane. You can't even. Right. You can't even really put it in a box musically, me, because like it's artists over here. So it's like it's never. You never gonna hear like the traumas of freestyle, but you never gonna hear a melody. You ain't gonna hear the same type of tunes or nothing coming from you. So it's gonna it's gonna be different every time you every time you click that dollars link. It's gonna be different. Might be harmonizing. Might be might be singing. Know what I mean, might be straight rap. Might be. Know what I mean, got you, got you. Now. What is like the goal for the whole movement? Like, obviously, y'all got a mixtape, y'all got merch, but what's the next steps? Well, I'm gonna keep it 100 with you, M Rec. The next step from here is working on Dollar's mixtape and his EP, working on Mayhem um, mix P, um, EP and mixtape. That's the next step for right now. So nice. that's the main goal right now. He working hard, especially Dollars and Mayhem. I gotta really congratulate my little brother. Mayhem, yeah. Like real, mayhem too. Real, real, up. real yeah, up. Mayhem. Yeah. And I also gotta congratulate my little brother Dollars too. He been working right, hard. Nice. He been he been through a lot. Salute. Like I'm gonna Salute. keep it hunting with he my little brother been through a lot. So I figured when he said he wanted to do music and I see my little brother taking off from doing what he wanted to do. I got up with my other partner so he was like we gotta put the money up behind him. So I figure I'd rather help my little brother to, get, to exceed his expectations than what he think he could go. You feel me? I got everything into my little brother. You understand, M Rec? Nah, so um, I want to salute y'all and salute you for you know for believing in in, in dollars and the whole fact. young guard and all that because. A lot of dudes don't do that. A lot of dudes don't back their homies or their brothers when they got aspirations. And I gotta salute y'all for believing and 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 really, you know, not only you know putting the bread up, but just 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 having that belief 
You know what I'm saying? Because that right there builds that confidence to make go to make dudes go harder. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's, that's what we're trying to build that renegade. We're trying to build like camaraderie. Once, yeah, once, once you yeah. basically once you basically believe in something as well as I believe in it, like they, they believe in my talent and my gift as well as I believe in it. So they're gonna put anything behind it. Just as well as we 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 believe in your talent and what you do, because you do best at what you do for the promotion and the marketing, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. To get it out to the people that need to hear it. So I mean yes, it's, yes, it's all of that believe it's that believing thing. Once 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 we believe in each other, we could do anything. And us that's us as a whole as as a whole in, in general. There's so much protest and there's so much things going on right now that we actually standing for something that is shaking the world up. It's kind of different. They don't like to see it like that. I mean, so that's a fact. That's a fact. Now, the name of the mix, the name of the mixtape, how y'all come with that? Like, is that I'm gonna be honest with you, is that blood related? No, nah, nah, that's not blood related. That's because that's because that's, 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 oh, that's that's we got the top of the we game. Got the top of the game. So we, we, we call it the brim the game. game. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it was. It's different though. You see the brims, they got we got vases. You got regular brims. You got black bottoms. You got great bottoms. It's brim gang. This this got is you. this is different. Man. Now, okay, I know I ain't the first one to ask you that. Yeah, nah, yeah of course. Yeah, of course. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Come on, let's not. You know. That's nah, a that's fact. fact. That's, that's a fact. fact. Yeah. That's a fact. Okay. Okay. First thing you think when you when you see the link. Yeah. 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 I think that one of y'all had a red on, right? I think you had a red hat. Dollars, you had a red hat on too, right? In the video or something or something red. Yeah, I had a red shirt. Yeah, red shirt on. Yeah, red shirt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 And it was, it was, it, it was, it, it was always in the video. It was always in the video. Shout out, shout out to the it's homies that clicked the link. The link. Yeah. I think yeah. thinking the wrong thing. Shout out to the homies that clicked the link, thinking the wrong thing. Too, <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir, man. Um, let me know where the influence come from, Dallas, because I couldn't really place like a lot of artists. When I first hear them, I can hear their influence automatically. I could be like, oh, this nigga listen to a lot of Jada, or this nigga listen to a lot of Meek, or this nigga right, listen right, to a right. lot of Fab. Who, who are some of your influences? Basically, like, my first influence is my pops. My pops mm. is Pop the Brown, Pop the Brown Hornet. I yes, mean, sir. He was a GP to Wu and all that. So that's really, like, my first inspiration. Like, he taught me to... The, the the formats like I was seeing him laying laying music down on to how to write sixteens balls hooks and bridges and and whatnot so I really got the concept from him but my favorite rapper was Banks and Lloyd Banks made me pick the pin up and all that and I just mm. I just went from it I, I I just I just took off with it because at that time I was living in Far Rockaway so I mean I I was also on a stack bundles wave too so it's like I got a mix of little stacks Lloyd Banks. And, and just a lot of people around me rap that I know is talented. So we all, that's what we do is getting chopped, started rapping, and then people started actually liking my flow. Like, nah, bro, you really, like, you really sound good. I mean, I'm like, all right. So I will go home, and I will secretly work on it, you heard? So when I came out with it, they like, nah, that ain't you. Nah, yeah, I was working on this this whole time. Like, now it's mm. like, I mean, I sharp at this, I sharp at this all with it. You know I mean? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Um... RP stack bundles. Absolutely. Salute to Lloyd Banks. Right now, right I gotta ask time. you a question. Being that you mentioned Lloyd Banks, right? How you felt when DMX said Lloyd Banks wasn't a lyricist? I mean, he apologized. I mean, when you first uh, heard it. Honestly speaking, honestly speaking, I ain't really feel no type of way because at the end of the day. When I was growing up, like people, my era, everybody's gonna have a different perception of that. Mm-hmm. My era, uh, I'm a '90s baby, I'm a '93 baby. My era coming up, G Unit T-shirts, spinning belts, and all that. That's what we was doing. So at that time, like at that time when music really met the world, when I started really, Banks was it. You couldn't. That was the punchline king. Nobody couldn't really. And that's what it was about. It's different. It's it's a difference. Like, I mean, he was a punchline king. That's where. That's why I get the rap and the freestyle. Punchlines from as far as song wise, he he definitely had a couple bangers as well. But mm-hmm. DMX is just DMX, man, and you you know he got the right to say what he want to say, like, yeah. he's, yeah. He's gonna, and he's gonna say what he's gonna say. You feel me? But I respect Bro. I respect Banks Pen Game some out of this world. You feel me? Like, and nothing's gonna change that. I mean, it's not gonna change that. You feel me? I, Regardless I, of who say DMX definitely got the right to say what he want to say, and that's who he been, and that's who he always was. Right? You know what I'm saying? But 
he also apologized too. And then he said, I meant to say Tony. You know why? You know why? You know, you know why? You know why he apologized? Because once you go back and actually start listening to some of the songs and all that, you start to really you gotta res- you gotta respect Banks gotta respect game. That, yeah. yeah, you have to. It's just like like at a point in time, Jewels was it was Jewels, Fab, and Banks, and you Fab. know Jada always. But that's you know what I'm saying that's when it was different. I mean, you gotta respect certain pin games. You gotta respect no matter who you are. Facts, facts. Now, now all right, one more question on that. Right. In a battle, like we talking about bars. Yeah. Who you who you got? Lloyd Banks or DMX? Banks, of course. Banks. Mm. Banks. Landslide by landslide. I mean, if they won I mean, three rounds, if like, they was in a dope fight, I got it. I'm gonna keep it one. I'm gonna keep it a hundred with you, M. I'm gonna keep it a hundred with you, M. If DNY get that boy that juice and don't put him in that in in that place. He, <laughs> Listen, Banks may have a problem. Nah. Yo, hold on. Wise, hold on. Battle wise, Banks is gonna chew his head off. But if you talking about if you want to make a hit record, if you want to throw them in a booth and make a song, actual song, then Banks got a problem. Or, or they gonna they no, gonna they gonna they, it's gonna be a run for their money. You know what I'm saying? But a battle wise, nah, I, I Banks is too that like, already. punchline king. Yeah, I covered that already with um, you know, I did a live with with with, with my subscribers with the record. Right. And I said now. If you talking about stage performance, you talking about making an anthem, DMX got that. Right. But if we going to say lyricism and bars, come on now. Like, you know, Banks is going to beat. He's an anthem. He had to understand. He had to apologize. I knew it was coming. You had niggas coming at me, your wreck. You know, you wilding and all that. How the hell I'm wilding? I know Banks is a lyricist. I know. DMX in his right state of mind knows that Banks is a lyricist. That's why uh, cool. like, yeah, you know like a day or two later he had to retract that. You feel me? You throw, uh, you so throw on any hot 97, you throw on any hot 97 G unit freestyle, man, and you, you really not you're not gonna hear nothing but excellence when it comes from that but man. But you also gotta that. understand That's too, DMX is a he a, no, he's he a, a dog. No, he's don't, a top, he's, don't wait, he's don't be he's waking up an old he's dog, a, man. No, he's oh. a top dog. He's no, we can get we ain't taking exactly. that from him. We ain't taking nah, that from him. Don't, don't wake up old dogs, man. Let them sleep, we, man. We ain't taking it from him. We can't take right. that from him. But what we're saying is reality mm-hmm. and was, was real. It, I mean, exactly. I and, and, it in a battle, Banks is, Banks is like, that, we, that's his field. That's what he's been doing. Yeah, you're right. That's what he's doing. We talk any any kind of battle, dogs? 50 was getting in, any kind of beef, Banks was front line talking his talk. Like, you feel me? Facts. Old Facts. time. Facts. But he said, you said one thing, too. You said if DNY put DMX on that juice. What kind of juice you talking about, man? Yo, M-Rex, <laughs> stop playing with me, M-Rex. <laughs> that juicy juice. That juicy juice, man. Yeah, yeah. Come on, M-Rex, that, stop that, playing. That we see on that, M-Rex that, that juice. TV. Eat, eat DMX to go, man. That's all I'm telling you, M-Rex. You, you that, older than me, you that, know. That Leave that man alone. No, that's not. No, he's been sleeping for a long time. Yeah, we, up, we, yeah, we uplifting flex right now, man. We uplifting people, yeah, yeah, M-Rex. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's 2020. <laughs> No, but I, I had to be clear, though. You know what I'm saying? I had to be clear, though. Juicy, juicy, <laughs> juicy, 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 man. Yeah, we talking about the juicy, 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 when you heard Stack Bundles got murdered, right? How did that affect you? I mean, it affected me differently because from Staten Island, I had one of them moving to Far Rockaway, Queens. I was in the bungalows. I mean, and and and, and Stacks and Chinks was like they they they, they messed with the bungalows. All of the older dudes was messing with them, so they, they was really around like musically. They was really fifty deep with the blowing the dub tees. They was really doing all that. So it was like a different type of motivation coming from Fall Rock because there ain't really nothing to do out there. So when you right. see somebody that when you see somebody come from the same from the same slums as you and, and motherfuckers is, oh, and people is in videos and mm-hmm. everything is looking like they bowling and everything is looking like that and they, and we come from poverty and, and you and you can have a whole hood behind your back like that 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 give you that give you motivation and give you and give you hope man that you could whatever you good at whatever you great at you could really grab that and run with it and, and the real ones is gonna gravitate and they're gonna and they're gonna support you as long as you believe me and keep your chin down and your chin up you got you have support facts facts 
Now, also, um, Brim Games, like, what, um, how can I say, like, you, you see how you got the Wu, you got different, like, you got ASAP, Mob, and all that, right? Like, is is that a lane that you're trying to go in, like, in terms of, like, having, a, you know, like, this, this, this big, like, conglomerate, in a sense? You know what I'm saying? I I'm just using, I, yeah. I, I want to have it as to, as to where we can be like that, but mm -hmm. I want to do my own thing. I, I just want to shed the light. I just mm -hmm. want to shed the light on Staten Island, and in and, and places where it's dark at and it's been dark for so long. Mm -hmm. I just want to shed the light on the talent. I'm going to do my own thing and we all going to do our own thing and bring it together. Like if we could do something like that, like my close ones and because they already started their own thing. People got their own clover line. They already started their own little jump. Right. I'm kind of late getting into the loop with it. You feel me? But mm -hmm. the way I'm going to do it, I'm just going to back door it the right way to it's like I'm, I'm exceeding certain people because I'm taking certain... I'm taking certain back doors. I mean, the right doors to take. You feel me? So that's how I'm going to do it. But I just really basically want to shed light on, on, on New York City as a whole, man, where where ain't no talent. There's no no nothing. And if I can use my talent to get the eye of the tiger and the eye of the people and the air of the people to listen, they're going to love it. The idea is just wonderful. Facts, facts. Now, how you feel about this is the terminology they call it, uh, the Brooklyn Drill Movement. How y'all feel about that? Uh, I, I, respect I respect it all day. All day. All day. I respect, I respect, I respect, I respect it all day. I respect the Brooklyn That's Drill. That's the wave. That's it. This is, the, this is what I mean. This is this is what I was trying to get at. They mm. shed, They got the eye shed on Brooklyn for the Brooklyn Drill Rap. Everything that's going on, all the controversy behind it as to where as all you got to do is bring your best to the table. And if you sound great, they're going to, the, the, the light is already on Brooklyn already. So right. if you sound great, it's already, it's automatic. You've seen what Coach just did, did his drop, whatever he did. And we know if it's a couple people from Brooklyn, from, from the Bobby Schmurders to the, to the to the Chef G's, to the Fabio's, to the to the Blick, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's, it's if you got the talent, they gonna, they gonna put the bag behind you. I mean, the light is already here. All you gotta do is really shine, basically. <laughs> yes, sir. And Brooklyn Drill was respected too. It's respected too because and I'm saying if you actually outside in the streets, you actually know like certain of these guys is actually out here and they come from the slums too. And this is real talk and what's really going down out here. So, I no mean, doubt. you got to respect it. No doubt. Um, Right now, you should be giving people your social media right now because, you know, I know they're going to be watching this interview. Hit them with that right now because... My social know. media is Duffel Bag Dollars, D-U-F-F-L-E-B-A-G space D-O-L-L-A-Z-Z. That's also the Instagram, and that's also the SoundCloud. Duffel Bag Dollars. Instagram Mega Heist, and the other Instagram is at Renegade Revolver. No YB Hood, you already know, at Instagram, Facebook, YB Hood, everything, Renegade Revolver, everything. So Dollars, man, I'm, you know, I'm known to put people on the spot, man. We on MREC TV. You might have to. You don't want to do that. that. You don't want to do that. <laughs> nah, nah. I Yo. said, I said, I ain't trying. I'm saying I could get busy, busy, or I got to be mindful. Nah, go crazy, son. Go, go crazy? crazy. Oh, no, 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 no. no. Go, go crazy because I'm going to um, have one of the homies edit, edit your shit anyway. I said, I ain't trying to hold crazy. you up. Go crazy. I said, I ain't trying to hold you up. I'm on a farm and beach sipping out a coconut. Mind over matter before I touch it, she open up. Wiz mm. Khalifa when I roll up. Somebody tell me where the Molly at. I mean, I ain't never met Nikki, but I'll be where the Barbies at. Bad mm. Spanish bitches. And they acting just like cardiac. Pull up in that new new. That'll give them cardiac. And I don't give a fuck about these bitches. It's a party pack. Wall stuff ass nigga. What you working? A laundromat? I'm with the gang smoking cigars, sipping on cognac. That's mm. on my mama, nigga. Everything nice for all of my fallen soldiers. I do everything twice. Just worry about living. You never know when your time come. Figuring out where I'm headed, but definitely know where I'm from. S T A T E N Allen. They don't let us in the door. I'm kicking it down, wailing. For mm. years we was deprived of showing no talent. But every dog got his day. I feel like Clifford, nigga. This is my house. I can walk around in slippers, nigga. You ain't really like that. I can send a bitch to get your twin Nina sitting pretty. I just call him sister, sister. Guess you gotta be Picasso for niggas to get the picture. Shit. 
Well, I was struggling the whole time till I noticed I could do this on my own. <laughs> See, I bought the beats out of them. See, I oh, got that. Nah, that ain't nothing. 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 I'm gonna tell you right now, Emre. Hold on, hit him with it, Don. Yeah, go, go, go crazy. Listen, go crazy. man. Just listen, listen, know that, Don. Show him what it is. I don't hate the music. I said I don't hate the player. Should I hate the game? I done did some foul shit just to make a name. Young boys wildin' out. Guess I gotta take the blame. Shots fire. Niggas disappear like David Blaine. Sippin' on his Henny alone. It don't taste the same. First class flights. I'm going up on this paper plane. In the back of the Uber. smoking that back to the future. Totin' that Mac and the Ruger. Get caught with that. Oh, Lord, them crackers are roofier. But I go to war with this beef. Let them pigs corner me. I'm holding court in the streets. But off of that, I'm bringing New York back. And on the beat, I hit the scotch. Nigga, I scorched that. Travel with that white boy. Nigga, that's ball rat. In the mm. passenger seat, sitting under the floor mat. Fiends Woo. get a hit of this. Bet you they call back. Nicknamed mm. the work king. Meaning it's all that. I ain't stepping on nothing. You getting a raw batch. Money over everything. Stick to the format. Spit mm. just how I live. Everything I talk facts. It's nothing to let the mag pop. But I ain't mm. going to stop. I'm sitting in the Porsche with the glass top. Now, if you listen, I'm painting niggas a vision to understand how we living. We come from the same cloth. They just cut me a little different. Educated and gifted on my block. Freedom is considered as a privilege. I made it to 26. I'm like, yeah, mama, we did it. Because then it's mm. rotten apple. These old corners get vicious. Snake niggas getting smart. Camouflage in this cricket. You seen these flesh wounds from the scars that y'all inflicted. I came a long way from the yards up in the prison. They know about them box pies. Chicken Sundays be tasting better than pop pies. Woo. They had a nigga stressing. Talking to the Lord like, dear father, I get the lesson. Been through hell and back. I'm just wondering how I get to heaven. For me, mm. and wreck, man. Salute. You know, you know. <laughs> Yo, Emrek, I got the bag on my little brother, Emrek. I keep Yo. telling you. <laughs> Listen, you got something special right there. You got something yeah. special right there. Now, Dollars the Truth, man. Yeah. Like, I mean, the whole team I'm, I'm rocking with. Young God, Dollars, the whole team, man. Salute yeah, to y'all, yeah, man. Yeah. Be, being, being the CEOs. And all that. Um, listen, listen so look, the second interview, we'll bring the guys and we're going to go dumb. Dumb, dumb. As y'all should. <laughs> and, and this time, bring that dollars that was spitting them freestyles. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> bring that guy. Gotcha. Wait, right <laughs> bring that time. guy. Because like I said, that's a different kind of nigga. You dig what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> Yo, but Emret, but I'm going to keep it 100 with you, Emret. Yeah. You just heard that. But wait till you hear the actual tracks, tracks from him. That's just playing around. Nah, yeah, not a, the, that, songs, the, the songs but, and the vocals. Really the, vocals the, songs. the songs and the vocals is different. I, I really be harmonizing I'm impressed, and bro. singing, I'm too. I'm, they I'm they ain't gonna I'm, expect I'm, that. I'm impressed. I was impressed with the opening bars off that freestyle, the trauma freestyle. Like, I know when a nigga got it, I can hear it first seven seconds. I know if a nigga got it or not. And I, and I said, nah, son's special. You know what I'm saying? When I first heard it. Yeah, no doubt. <laughs> That's a fact. Right so on, on on that note, this is this gonna be an interview one of many. Just let them know you're live on MREC TV. We live on MREC, MREC TV. Shout out to MREC. You know the TV. vibes, baby. Tune in, tune Salute. in, tune in. Right. Salute. Salute. Hit that Salute. like button. Yo, hit, hit that, that like, like button. Subscribe. Man, too. You already know the vibes, man. Y'all know the MREC room etiquette. Smash that like button. Y'all know what it is. But Joe, uh -huh. I appreciate it. Um, let them know how. How they how they can follow y'all again, and then also how they can contact y'all. Right, you can contact me at Duffel Bag Dollars, Facebook, Instagram, D U F F L E B A G space D O L L A Z Z. Man, Duffel Bag Dollars. Mm -hmm. Find me at, at Mega Heist on Instagram and on Twitter, and at Renegade Revolver on Instagram. There you go. Follow me at YB Hood, Instagram YB Hood on Facebook. Everything else is Renegade Revolver. Go check out that trauma freestyle. Duffy right. Bag Dollars featuring Young God. Be in the building, y'all. We love you. Yo, Good looking, baby. Much love. Nah, yeah. I appreciate y'all, man. This is a pleasure for me because I was same not only, same over here. Not only I was um um entertained by the interview, I was entertained by the freestyle. So this, like, I love. When the shit is just dope and it's a dope move. <laughs> you feel me? So salute to y'all. I appreciate y'all. And um, you know, I'm gonna have this edited 
Like, give me a week or so, man. I got so much shit going on. The most, you know what I mean? If that, uh, it, it we probably, already know. You know, already you know, know. Know, know, know what's going on. Yeah. yeah. But um, I'm definitely. We got the hat for you too, and we got. Yeah, I like the original. Got... I like that the original shit. Like that's that's my vibe. That shit caught my eye from the rip. You know what I'm saying? This oh, one? the joint. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That you shit got uh, I yeah, that you. shit caught my yeah. <laughs> yeah, that shit is fire. Yo, oh, that's what I meant to ask no y'all. Yo, real quick. What's the relationship uh -huh. with um Rain? Oh, I'm gonna keep it a hundred with you, man. It's the Rain Wonder Man, he like my family, man. He grew up with one of my uncles and shit. So that's how I know it's the Rain, man. I've, okay. I've been dealing with the boot camp for years. I've been going to like their shows and all that. And his um one of his artists is my real cousin by the name of by the name of Raw. Shout out to Raw. Shout, shout out, out to Raw. Shout out to the whole the Rain. Shout out to um no, Solid Ice and brother. them man. Shout out to the boot camp. Yeah, shout out to But yeah, that's how that's how this, that's how that is the situation with with the Rain. That's like my cousin. That's like my family. So that's why I mean. But what's doing good about like that situation cool. is you know because you know people say oh we we got to get people people they flowers while they still here. My thing is this. Nah, I want to give kings their crowns because flowers die. You dig what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So that's, that, right. that's how I'm giving it right. up with that. Now, I want to salute Starain for wearing the hat because when I was looking for um, a thumbnail to use for his interview that's on MREC TV, speaking on the whole Biggie beef and all that, I yeah, was yeah. like, you know, looking for pictures. I'm like, nah, that ain't the one. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, nah, that ain't the one. This, that, and the third. And then when I saw that pic <laughs> and then the hat, I said, yeah, that's it right there. It, it, it just give oh. off a, a vibe like it's serious. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, right. Yo, you know, we appreciate that. Appreciate that came it. out of nowhere. We like, yo, that's your on end wreck, boy. <laughs> Fact. Fact. Hold on one second. Let me tell my man. Yo, Jay, what's up, family? Oh, my God. What up with you? No, nah, everything good. Look, look, I'm doing an interview. Give me two more minutes. I'm, I'm going to hit your line right back. Yo. All right. All right. All right. Yeah, I'm gonna edit that part out, part and stuff. But that's my man. You know, that's my man. Um, Jay Paris. Um, you watch Belly, right? Yeah. yeah. Um, he was the nigga that shot Stan Spit at the table. Um, when he was with DMX and, and Justin. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. In the restaurant. Yeah, yeah the restaurant. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's <laughs> my man and shit. But um, like I was saying, that's how this whole thing connected with us. Is me putting up that thumbnail because y'all reached out. It was like, yo, M Rack, yo, shout, yo, salute for you know giving us the promo. You know what I mean? Already. That's that's our merch. That's the rain got on. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? And we, and we built from there. And I and I salute y'all yeah. for that because y'all being G's to recognize, like, yo, that's promo. That's free promo. The homie just gave it up, and y'all y'all saluted, and then y'all reached out to do business. So y'all got a special place in my heart just to how y'all move. You know what I'm saying? So salute to y'all on that. Appreciate, no, appreciate, appreciate it, man. No doubt. That's love. So on that note, this is one of many, too. We family now. So um, Yo, right. man, you got to get on one of our Brim Game mixtapes, man. Stop oh, playing, dang, man. Yo, let, let, let's put it together. That's easy. Let's gotta put it together. Got to get you on this track with dollars, man. Yeah, yeah, we yeah, can definitely, we can definitely. I'll be seeing you, Emrek. <laughs> let's say we can definitely. I, 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 I will charge man. you the super bag. I will charge you the super bag. But we got all right. dollars. It might be all right. light or next to nothing. <laughs> You feel all me? Right. Right. You feel me? <laughs> Just cause the nigga talent and how your niggas move. You know what I mean? Like I ain't gonna charge you the super bag. Cause right now, I got features lined up crazy. Cause niggas know, like with me, you gonna get the bars, but you gonna get that promo and all that other shit that come with it. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So I, I tell niggas like I, I can't even do features because I feel like if niggas don't understand my worth, then we, we might as well not even do it because when I do features with people, I go hard with it like it's my record. You understand what I'm saying? And I got a lot of relationships in radio and all that other shit. So, you know, but I know y'all get that. So that's why I would lock in with y'all to do a feature. But most niggas, they, they thinking that, oh, and Rick, you jump on this shit and I'm supposed to do all this extra work that costs money. But being that mm -hmm. I got the relationships, it ain't gonna cost me like it costs somebody else. It's still gonna cost money. You dig what I'm saying? But niggas, you know, but I know y'all respect that. So we ain't even got to talk about that. We just put it together. But I'm going to be honest with you. Right. Beat got to be crazy. 
at all times. Like I'm, I'm, I'm about the action in them. Listen, this is all about the action. Like if you, if you was to drop a track, would you try to do like a party with like feed it for the females? Like one nah, of the which nah, we, we all going drill. In. Like, we going in. We going to black. You uh, know what I'm saying? <laughs> you, you know, like, put your timber, put your Timberland <laughs> boots on. Put your hoodies oh, on. Right, no more. You know what I'm see saying? No right. Got you. Get, get the scraps loaded. That's all I need to know. Get the scraps loaded. We going in. You feel me? That's yeah. all I need to know. We valid. We gonna work yeah. on it. and We gonna send it to you, M. Right? That's a yeah, fact. Yeah, we gotta be crazy. And if if we I got, got the juices on deck too, that got some crazy shit. So we we oh. we make it happen. You know what I'm saying? Oh. We gonna make it right. We gonna definitely hit you up. All right. Say no more. Love. All right. Love, it was a pleasure. Love, what's up? What's up? Come on. Come on.